Greetings, positive friends. It is I, Positive Man. And I just got off work today on this uh, awesome Friday, Positive Friday. It was ho it's Halloween. And um, today I had the... Uh, today was awesome, my friends. Today I was negative, man. And let me tell you something. Today was very, very powerful and productive. I walked in today and I was in character. People looked at me and I just went like, you know... What's up? You know, like that. You know, I was like, um, I wasn't being myself, of course, my regular positive self that I walk in with this huge smile and I'm saying hello to everybody. But everybody looked at me like, what? what's going on with this guy? And then when I told them that I was negative, man, they started cracking up. And so then I started explaining to them that I was a, uh, for, for my costume, I was a low vibrational third dimensional human being that I was selfish, egotistical, arrogant, self-centered. And um, that all I cared about was my needs, and uh, it was it was hilarious because um, everybody was just cracking up. But nevertheless, they understood that you know what that's kind of like where the rest of you know the majority of humanity is at. And um, the awesome part about it was when after break I took off the mask, and then everybody was like, "Hey, what happened to the negative man?" I said, "You know what." My life has been transformed. I went through a transformation and now I'm back to positive man. And they say, how did you do that? And I say, well, because I embraced unity and oneness with the universe, with our creator. And now I love myself unconditionally and I love you guys and I love others unconditionally too. And they're like, oh, okay, you know, I, I planted the seed of love. And the message was that, you know, we could choose to remain and live in a third dimensional world. A third dimensional mentality where we're constantly fighting against each other, judging each other, criticizing each other, and uh, and vibrating low, experiencing fear, anger, frustration, anxiety. Or I said, we can raise our level of consciousness to the fifth dimension of Christ consciousness, which is a selflessness, um, which is selflessness, service to humanity, caring, loving, kind, and uh, being kind to one another, helping each other out. And I said, it's our choice. I said, but nobody's going to do that for us. God is not going to, you know, um, wave a magic wand over the earth. And all of a sudden, everybody's just going to be these this positive, you know, people. Because it's just not going to happen. The fact of the matter is that we have to do it. It has to come from us. The change has to start from each one of us. Like Michael Jackson said, with the man in the mirror. We have to create the new earth. If we want to live in a place where everybody loves each other, everybody respects each other, everybody tolerates each other's differences, and everybody's just supporting each other, being kind and loving and caring, my friends, it's up to us. We have to create that earth. And I challenge you to look in the mirror. Take a look at yourself and ask yourself, are you ready to live in a Christ consciousness mentality, the fifth dimension of Christ consciousness. Are you ready to love your brothers and sisters unconditionally? Are you ready to put aside all judgments, criticism, accept everyone for who they are? A perfect divine soul having an imperfect human experience just like you. Because we're all here for the same reason, to find our truth, to Come here and live out a dream to be the very best we can be. Our souls are here to evolve, to learn from our mistakes and not keep repeating them. But we're not here to be condemned and judged for them. My friends, I invite you to co-create with me our new earth. One that is based on unconditional love. Anyways... Today was a great day because I was able to share my message of love and peace. And everybody took it very well. And it was a very successful day. I'm very pleased with what happened. And it gave me an idea to create a show where I would have skits between negative man and positive man. And I, and I believe negative man is the ego mind that we all have. We all have a negative man or negative woman that tends to come out. And is easily led by their emotions. Well, it's time to make peace with that ego mind and 
let your higher self take control of your reality because it knows why you're here and it knows all the decisions that you need to make to live a successful and beautiful life here on earth. All right, my friends, that's enough for now. Um, I love you guys unconditionally. I'm here for you. Get ready for some more awesome videos that I'm going to be creating as soon as I free my time and my finances improve, which they're going to improve very quickly, my friends, very soon. Things are going to change. They're going to open up for me and we're going to have a great time. All right, my friends, as always, I send you lots of love and positive energy and prosperity. You take care of yourself now. Now you stay positive now. <laughs> Just kidding. Now you stay positive now. I'm serious. <laughs>